Hello and welcome to episode three of the Consistency Club podcast. Now you'll notice we're not in the studio. This one's going to be a little bit different. Shortly I'm going to be cutting to a clip of an interview that I did with one of our Inner Circle clients, Chris. We've been working with Chris now one-on-one for six months. His results have been truly life-changing. Don't hear it from me, hear it from the horse's mouth, hear it from Chris himself shortly, so I'm not going to say too much and I don't want to ruin it. Um, but we go through you know, his pain points, his obstacles, where he was before his journey, and of course the life-changing results that he's now experiencing firsthand. Uh, it's been a pleasure so far. If you've watched any of these podcast episodes and found some value, please do take a couple of seconds to drop a like, hit the subscribe button. Um, like I said, only if you found some value, of course, like we, we want to earn it, but big aspirations for this podcast to bring you so much value for free and just doing that small thing that's free to do genuinely means more than you can know, means more to the channel and helps us continue to scale this to bring even better content to you weekly. So thank you so much. Enjoy the episode. I'll see you in the next one. We are here with Chris. Chris has been a client inside the Consistency Club now for six months. It's actually the first time we've That's actually it. met face to face, isn't it? So right. obviously we're a remote service, but where we can, we absolutely love to, to meet our clients face to face. Today we have the pleasure on this Friday of going for a nine hole. Now we're debating how it's gonna go. I feel like you're a little bit better than me and I'm very, very competitive, so we'll see. <laughs> um, Not so sure about that. Yeah, absolutely. So first and foremost, Chris, um, I'd like to start with, you know, obviously I reached out on LinkedIn to you yes. and that's how we, we connected. Uh, and often it can be, you know, right place, right time. And the universe sends a message when, when you most need it. But if it's okay, just share, share with us where you were when I reached out. Okay. Um, in terms of like point in your life and health and fitness. Okay. Uh, that's a really good place to start given that, uh, that's probably the most weighty I've been in my life. Yeah. Um, I just finished a project at a company that was based up in Newcastle and I live in Droitwich. That is a five hour drive. Hell of a journey. Oh yes. <laughs> so um, I, it was a really high pressure job. I was the chief customer officer at a company doing transport management and uh, the organization that had just been through quite a tough time, had a cyber attack just before I joined. So I was on the road uh, meeting with customers, explaining how things had gone. And the bottom line was um, I was in the car an awful lot, did just over 10,000 miles, met yeah. 200 customers. And um, to get me through it, I grazed. <laughs> I Easily done. Yeah. And and what really is, is quite bad about it is that um, every stop you've got, whether it's a petrol station, whether it's a service station, whatever, there's a WH Smith with a two yeah. for one at five pounds for a bag of sweets. And I've got a sweet. If thing. not a McDonald's or a Burger uh, King or course. KFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and all those. So I was just doing that, going up, uh, living in Newcastle for a week in a hotel. So hotel food and hotel living. Yeah. Um, I started the pie club. <laughs> <laughs> so a I, recipe for disaster, just, I'm sure. Uh, I just, you know, I was probably consuming, I don't know, four or 5,000 calories a day. Yeah. And my exercise, it was non-existent. So much so, actually, that one of the one of the uh, ladies there said to me, who's the HR director there, uh, said, you should go and join the club. We've got a special rate. So um, without naming them because I fell out with them, uh, I joined a, an organization which had a club down in um, in Worcester as well, which I thought I'd join. Yeah. Um, but like anything, you know, being motivated to do something requires a reset yeah. of your mind. And I wasn't in the right place and I ballooned. I was 96.4 kilos. And as you can see, I'm not the tallest person. So. Which, and obviously I know what you weigh now. Yeah. To think that's what you were is incredible. I said to you insane. today when I first saw you look unbelievable, but that's, yeah. that's a hell of a journey. Well, thank you. I know it, it, it is a journey because what ended up happening was I just realized in January that, I mean, my blood pressure was hypertension yeah so that was another significant worry um i'm of that age where if you don't do something about it you'll be on track for a heart attack or something like that yeah. so i was a bit concerned um and as you say about the universe there you were the consistency <laughs> coach so we reached out and, and and we took it from there and i think the one thing that really 
truly made a difference after we had the first screening call to make sure that we we had the face fit and, yeah. and we could get on and play golf. Um, <laughs> we'll find out. In well, about yeah, whether we can play we start throwing clubs. <laughs> um, was the the whole piece around um, just the full package around the person that really impressed me because I've done you know gyms, I've had personal yeah. trainers before, I've done things, but it doesn't get your mindset right. Um, and so I'm doing things now that I would never have thought I'd have been doing. Yeah. So, as you know, I, I, I designed a, a journal, a gratitude journal, which is available which on- Fantastic, by the way, and I do use it. Shameless <laughs> plug, but I'll, I'll put a link at the bottom of the video. Um, and uh, no, writing down what you're grateful for, really thinking through what you're, what you're doing and setting your mindset right to see the positive in things, yeah. which is a great attitude anyway. Um, a lot of the routine about stretching and yoga and those sort of things has now become a routine. Yeah. And it's fitting that in every day. That's, that's now become the habit. A non-negotiable, isn't it? And yeah. I, I use that word quite a lot when it, when it comes to check-ins, but um, outside of the traditional things that people tend to attack on a health and fitness journey, which are training and nutrition, there are so many other variables of we's ex of, as we've experienced in terms of routine and habits that you can build in, whether it is stretching, whether it is breath work, yep. whatever it may be, that you can almost use them as a foundation to your day. And when you do them, whether they have like a profound physical effect or not, it's the healthy dopamine hit of knowing you've ticked the box and you've started your, your yes. day in the best way. And obviously, hopefully you've experienced that. Definitely. And, and uh, I think the other thing is, is, is having the goals to set to, to give you something to aim for. And yeah. you said you're competitive, I'm competitive as well. So <laughs> just seeing that there's a target to hit and to go for it, um, I think it's really important. Um, from a practical point of view, um, getting something to track, and obviously the, the Garmin was one of the goals. So yeah. if, if I slice off, I think it was four kilos. Yeah, I absolutely. I got myself on that. So yeah, everything's become routine. Um, just you know, this morning, just got up, did my thing. Yeah, did the, you know, have a watch YouTube, get a gratitude video going, get the breathing video going, and just doing it. Um, and that works. Yeah, so big results, big outputs. So, yeah, yeah thank you. Absolutely, no, of course, check ins have made a big deal as well. Yeah, and we've talked about things other than around me specifically about my fitness and, yeah. and routine it's which a, i think is really really a holistic important. approach yeah absolutely it's, it's really important because as you said previously going back to one of your first statements it starts in the mind yes like the physical will follow the mind in essence and, and the mind has to be in the right place to take action it has to understand the journey your why in granular detail but equally you know you've got you've got a family a career you're pursuing you've got other things in your life that are extremely important and there has to be a balance definitely without that balance and the, again, the holistic approach in date, like what we do inside the consistency club for any, anyone watching, the first thing we'll do is a lifestyle assessment. Obviously we, we did that with yourself as well, Chris, to see where you are when we first connect and when we build you that program. So anything that we give you and same with any of our clients can actually be actioned on, which is vitally important, but it's also important to stress like that evolves and molds over time and obviously you're going through a journey mm. yourself now in terms of your career and it's important we take that into account in the program as well um but obviously the results have been unbelievable we'll, we'll get to that shortly in terms of when we had that first conversation and our second conversation were there any was there anything you were you were skeptical about because i know what it's like you know we connect on linkedin we have a chat and it's mm -hmm. a, in essence a bit of a sales pro process but was there anything initially when you when we first connected, you thought, mm, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think um, the one thing that I hadn't done before was actually work through a program that is completely remote. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't certain whether or not that I could stick with that because one of the things that I have is I like, you know, I think I, think I said this to you before, I like to show off to the person I'm working Absolutely. with. Absolutely. Because it just, it just makes me, if you say I do yeah. well, I'll do more of it. Yeah. Um, so as my motivation is, is to say I'm doing all right and I'll do all right and I'll do more of it. Um, so without that personal touch there when I'm working out, I was questioning whether in my head, whether or not I'd actually have the discipline to make that happen. Yeah. Where's that motivation yeah. source within the training exactly. itself? 
Yeah. And uh, but actually, the thing that made it a difference better than when I've actually been with personal trainers where I've met them in the flesh. Um, even though I've got a really good buddy out of it from years ago, I moved from that area, so I had to find somebody different. Yeah. Um, it was the data and the recording of the data, the data sheets, getting the information, and then posting a photo, <laughs> which, yeah. uh, which was such a grim thing. <laughs> that um, first photo is uh, always the biggest obstacle, really, isn't it? Yeah, so that was, uh, that was just, I don't know, I'll almost set, make you sign a, um, a non-disclosure agreement yeah. on, on that photo. But, um, <laughs> standing there with my belly hanging out and my chin twice the size of it now i mean it's 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 gruesome to see but it is a great change yeah um and then being able to track that every single week i do admire how you can see differences because i just see me yeah and i'm looking at it again that's just me just a bit smaller than i was before but yeah i think i think the key with that is obviously we've helped a lot of people so we know what we're looking for but equally when you're on this journey and you're tuned into it as you should be, you're analyzing yourself on a day-to-day -day yep. basis. It, it, not for vanity, but I'm sure you found yourself it's looking in the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a little bit, if we're honest, but you find yourself looking in the mirror and saying, like assessing, has my hard work paid off this week? Or did yeah. those added calories I maybe shouldn't have had had they had an effect? So you're always analyzing on a day-to-day -day basis. I have the external perspective of I tune in and plug in every week so although i'm analyzing the data throughout the week i get the photos once a week hmm. and so when i get them up on my big screen i do comparison i've got you know it's a subjective view is there a difference yes or no it's quite easy when it's you to be emotional about it mm. and that can jade what you're seeing so but i'm glad you found that you found that in the process. It, 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 everything about it has been actually a learning point and i've gone in with the attitude you know you know me i've gone in with the attitude i'm just going to try it yeah see what it makes a difference because I had to change. Yeah. That was the thing. In my head, there were several things. There's a discipline to doing this that I need to demonstrate that I can show and prove to others. Yeah. Because there's that part of me as well. Um, and, and the fact that, that you get results and you can see this line just dropping. Absolutely. It's fabulous. And I've got, you know, four notches lower on the belt yeah and all sorts so yeah it's unbelievable and obviously you can see that data yeah. as well which is really important so like even obviously i deliver the check-ins every single week but even in between and every time you're filling in the data you see if your energy's good if your sleep's been good if your weight's coming down if it's not so you're always getting that feedback as well throughout throughout the week how um how the family and the people in your circle responded to the transformation obviously you've, you've been kind enough to refer one of our amazing clients, David, as well, and he's had an yeah. incredible journey, so we really, really appreciate yeah. you for that. But, but what's, yeah, what's people's so, feedback? So, yeah, as you imagine, the, those that haven't seen me for some time, yeah, just think, it's not the same person. <laughs> yeah. In fact, <laughs> where's um, Chris, what have you done with yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, one, one of the things, um, about a month ago, I think it was now, I went back up to Newcastle to, yeah. Um, sadly, one of the people in the company had passed away and there was a lovely charity walk put on to, for his memory to raise funds for CJD. Um, and I just got back in touch with the whole group and it was so nice to see them all. But they were like, who are you? What have you done with Chris? You know, that sort of thing. So it was, it was really nice. And for me, in just that short space of time, because the last time they saw me was just before Christmas. Yeah. Um, because I didn't go back up when I ended my role up in, in Newcastle. I just passed my stuff back to a, a local site, which was down in Leicester. So a lot of the team hadn't physically seen me. Um, and that, Bit of a shock, I imagine. They, they were like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> so nice feeling though, isn't great. it? Great, yeah. yeah. And the family, I actually posted, because um, 12th of August last year, I showed you the photo. Yeah. I was at my niece's wedding. Yes. I remember the photo. I, recre well. I re recreated the picture with the same, maybe not the same tie, but looking the similar. And one of me looks like I'm Mr. Michelin, the other <laughs> one looks like me now. So, and that's 12 months apart. I, yeah. put, I put that on our family WhatsApp. And actually, the overwhelming feedback was well done. Yeah. Really pleased for you. It wasn't uh, like, oh, 
don't you look fantastic? Which of course mm. I do. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's the it's the fact that people were bothered about how I was before. Yeah. They were worried for me. They could see it was an oh, yeah. issue, yeah, and they're was, glad you've taken the action on it. Yeah. So I think that that's the big big win. Yeah. Um, I'm thrilled because you know now I feel I got a lot more energy, mm. which is good. And that's actually a really good segue. I don't mean to cut you off, but one of the questions I was going to ask was, how do you think? And obviously you're in a transition in terms of your career and everything right yep. now. How do you think the process outside of the physical and the weight drop and everything that, that encompasses that has impacted your like your cognitive function, your productivity mindset wise? That's a great question. I think I'm really clear about what I want to do. Yeah. So it's made my ability to get to what I want a lot less. And I don't know whether you can totally correlate it to that but it's mm. all part and parcel of the process I mean, the discipline which i think is really important of doing something setting aside the time to make things happen uh being clear about what you want to achieve and being able to measure it to show success that's how you do anything in business yeah that's, that's how you know and it's it's applying those sort of business techniques if you can't manage it you can't manage it if you can't measure it so how do you do that with yourself with your guidance with the, the great you know, sheets that you put together, just the, the sort of constant reminding yourself of those pieces yeah. has really sort of clarified so many things and it sort of rep ripples through everything else. Yeah, there, there's a lot of parallels, aren't there, yeah. from a health journey to, to pretty much any other journey in life, obviously business and career path and everything being one of them. Um, if you were to speak to anyone, you know, whether it's in, in your circle, out of your circle, or people that would potentially benefit from our service and their objection would be you know their their time poor they've got a busy schedule um you know maybe they'll they'll deal with it in two months three months time when things calm, calm down one would you recommend our service to someone who says that and that's their position and what would you say to them after you've been through the journey so i have no hesitation in recommending this to anybody whatever stage they're at i think the challenge will always be that the individual has to want to make the change. Yeah. And if they don't, then this is probably a better approach because if you just, if you, if you have somebody who is, um, overweight and, um, has lack of time, it's so much easier not to do anything than to do something. Yeah. So making a first change and getting some quick wins has really been important because you know, it doesn't happen overnight. No. So you've got to have a process where you can see something, tracking everything. I use my fitness pal as yeah. the sort of way to, to track the calories. Just doing that, but understanding what it is I'm trying to achieve actually kept me on track. And then you know, your motivation, your positivity, the sort of great feedback, you know, convincing me to do something um, that helped. And like I say, you you got inside my head quite quickly because you, I told you how I needed to be motivated. Yeah, absolutely. And you played to that, so you kept me on track. So I think, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Mm. Uh, you'll always find it difficult if somebody's not fully committed to absolutely. it. Absolutely. But I would say to anybody who um, is thinking about it, if you really want to make a change, this has been the best sustained approach. I've lost weight, I've kept it off, I've got myself fitter, I've got myself thinking better, yeah. and I've got my blood pressure and markers, blood markers down to healthy. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's transforming. I mean, it, this device tells me my biological age and my actual age, or what it records, I'm actually getting younger. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? It's a Benjamin Bunn. But... Yeah, absolutely. And, and genuinely, everything you've just said, I can't tell you how proud it makes me to hear. Equally of you, of course, for taking action. It's, it's important that I stress you are 100% right in what you say. Like anyone that we speak to, and it was the same when I spoke to yourself, Chris, I'm not trying to convince them to do something they are not open and willing to do. Yep. I will only push if I know I've got the solution to their problem. Yeah. Um, and absolutely, I knew from, from the first time we spoke, first and foremost, we would have a good relationship, absolutely. We can come and do nine holes, as we said, and we'll let you guys know how we get on. Um, 
But equally, like I knew I could solve the problem. Of course, it takes some investment. It takes you to be in the right mindset to take action. And that is, that, that's probably the most courageous point of the journey, I think. Um, but like I said, fills me with pride. It's been a pleasure so far. And I think just to round off, run the guys through the results okay. from, where, from where we started to where we are. Okay. So the, probably the, the highest one is the weight start was 96.4 kilos. So massive, massive weight yeah. reduction. Um, in terms of um, blood pressure, it was hypertension daily hypertension and we could see that in the yeah. tracker couldn't we it was you know we got co color coded it actually you did within your trackers which is brilliant um and we saw you know consistent reds in the first few weeks and then there was a point in which it started to change started to it? change down to the yellows had a uh, two or three weeks of yellows and now it, it had a period where um it was just solid green yeah um there's been a few days possibly through bad timing of when i taken the blood pressure yeah uh, on certain things going on in my life at a different point um i've had the odd one or two yeah. pop up the yellow again but um i know what i'm doing it's back on track again it's been green for the last mm. week um with no blip so I'm, <laughs> I'm thrilled yeah and then then just some of the achievements um you got me back into running uh, back in 1990 i ran the london marathon <laughs> i said i wouldn't do it again i'm not gonna do it again um but uh, the sort of pace that I was going at back in 1990 and the sort of things that I was doing in my training, I'm getting close to those again, yeah. which is insane because that was a lot of years ago. Well, um, I remember you sent me a message saying this is a PB yes. since 1990. And that was on, was it 1K, 1 mile and 5K times? Yes. Yeah. I, I couldn't believe it when I got that that's, through. That's insane. I mean, incredible. So... Um, and I and I didn't feel, I didn't feel like I'd done anything, push myself beyond anything yeah. when I when I ran that. The last I remember just because I was coming back up to my house and I looked down at my watch and the time and was saying you've just done the five k, and I was looking at it and it was I think twenty six. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so kind of, Double take. There's some, something just gone wrong there. Yeah. But, um, yeah. That day felt really good and. I'm now, even you know, when I've had, I mean, I've had injuries as well because I've tried to push things. I just have these mad moments where I think, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I've, you know, I'm not as young as I used to be. And I've, and I've tweaked my hamstrings a couple of times. My calf muscle has, has got tight. My Achilles has played up. That was down to my shoes. That was 100% down to my shoes. I was, I was running in basically flat sole things that wasn't right. Yeah. So getting the right kit is important. I'd say that to anybody who's watching. Get yeah. the right kit. I know you say you have all the gear and no idea, but you've got the idea. You know. That's what I feel like today. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough. So it's making, it's making a difference. Um, and I've just got through those things. Your help when I've had those issues just saying how to treat them, how to deal yeah. with them. Knowing when to pull back is when a big to, thing, yeah, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So just making that work, making sure I'm not burning myself out. Um, but, you know, and allowing me the odd, the odd treat every so often. Oh, absolutely. That was I, good. Yeah, I, like I mean, that. we're huge on flexibility, and that's one thing I would stress to anyone who goes through this journey, because I'm not sure if you experienced it previously, actually. I don't think we covered that on our first call, but... What so many people tend to do is they wait until they're at that point of really high motivation and then they'll go try run three times a week straight to three or five K or they go to the gym and they cut their calories. Maybe they go on keto and they go from zero to a hundred and there's just no sustainability yeah. in that process. So having flexibility, you know, building in a reward system, whether that's getting yourself an item like Garmin or some new clothes if you lose the weight or whether that is you know, I've, I've stuck to my calories. It's the 80-20 rule, you mm. know. I've been I've been good Monday, Friday. You can go out with your wife or your family or whatever it may be. You can enjoy some food. And I think that's really, really important and something everyone needs to build in their, to yeah. their process if they're serious about it. So, Definitely. Um, but look, it's been a, a pleasure so far. It's about time, nearing on our tea time. So, um, yeah, like I said, we, we're not done yet, but the journey so far no, has been fantastic. brilliant. You look fantastic, my friend. Thank you. Let's, uh, let's go play some golf. Absolutely. Good man. Thank you.